Welcome to the TV5 Vault. I'm Matthew Mondro. Halloween is fast approaching. Do you have your Halloween costume picked out? Well, in this edition of the TV5 Vault, Jay Brando does. We go back to 1997, where let's just say he gets a lot of help with his costume. There's a million ideas at Camille's Costumes for Halloween. While masks are always a favorite, why not try something different and use your own face with a little Halloween help with makeup artist Jerry Dennis doing the honors. Just like in Hollywood, here's my new nose and don't forget the chin. And Jerry says for him, there's something special and something magic about Halloween. There are some people who take it very seriously. I mean, it's the one night during the year that you really get to cut loose. You get to be somebody completely different. You just go out there and you get to have a good time. You get to explore your alter egos. <laughs> That's what Halloween is all about. While the Lucifer look is starting to take form, you can't help but practice the famous devil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, you, you're gonna wear a business suit on Halloween day, you can still get in the spirit with a little uh, little uh, double tie here. Of course, uh, shrunken heads, any type of body part, these are always really big, um, especially with the kids. We've got uh, we've got the crystal balls if you want to be a swami, or you can accent a facet of your own personality. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, and what are you looking at? If you don't have any ideas for Halloween yet, don't worry, you still have lots of time. This year, the Dick Fabian look is in, but that might even be a little too scary to think about. Jay Brando, on the road for Take 5. Ha, 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 ha. Now we want to hear from you. What's the best Halloween costume you've ever worn? Send us your pictures or comment them right below. And thanks again for joining us for this edition of the TV5 Vault. I'm Matthew Mondro.